Hello, I'm Joe Ferguson. Uh, this is my studio in Weston. I've been doing sculpture for 60 years or so, and um, if you'll follow me, we'll go inside. As a young student, I could see that the medium of stained glass was stalled in a distant time. A vibrant, light-animated color medium cried to be rescued from centuries of flat, leaded technique, obsolete symbolism, and gloomy architecture. Okay, I was always looking for different ways to set the stained glass uh, in uh, different mediums. And this, is, um, this was a chance to do it with this commission over in Old Cambridge Baptist Church in uh, Cambridge, 1962. And this glass is set in concrete. Uh, it was a memorial window for uh, Dean Samuel Miller, who'd been a minister in the church there. The idea here is that this is a tree of life, the symbolism, and the tree itself is the dark part reaching out. And there are three symbols of God and the top of it, the sun, the measuring the universe, and the seven stars of creation, fire. Then at the bottom there are thorns and things like that that suggest real life. Stained glass is a wonderful medium, but it has a problem. The dim architectural setting of a cathedral is as essential to its performance as is the dark theater to the projection of colored images on a screen in the movies. Unlike painting and most colored surfaces, the rich colors of stained glass bleach out with surface illumination. The greater intensity of light must be behind the glass rather than on its surface. There is no surface for stained glass color to flow over. Like a picture puzzle, it must be constructed. Each piece of colored glass cut to shape and fixed into a supporting matrix or armature. Instead of soldering the pieces together in a flat plane, I separated and superimposed them within the depth of the frame to produce a design of subtle variations in color. The space between the pieces allows light to come through and become part of the composition. I made a wooden frame and then used brass rod and made a kind of a armature to set the glass in and in this case some using large chunks of glass uh, for the texture and in that way I was able to build compositions uh, that were more modern and that allowed light to come into the room. The 
this is called The Optimistic Sun. Uh, I did it back in the 60s, very, very one of my early pieces. And again, this was exploring the possibility of capturing the sun as it moves across the sky. So by putting the uh, glass back into cylinders and, and putting areas of uh, copper in a position where they could be reflected upon, uh, I was getting the maximum of change as the sun moves across the sky, as it dims and as it gets, it gets very hot in, this, in the uh, noon hour. Some of this, here you can see where I made many surfaces for the colored light to reflect upon. Stained glass offers a display of colored light projected on surfaces in response to the sun's movement. No other medium offers such a rich palette. The Yellow Submarine is one of my early landscape sculptures. When I was in college, uh, I was doing stained glass, and um, I didn't want to end up doing just flat cathedral-style uh, glass. I, I tried that, but um, I wanted to get it out into the landscape, away from architecture. And uh, this was one of the early ones. Um, and placing, just making the metal to contain the glass was the main object. When the sun is on it, it sparkles, and at night, um, it has a kind of a glow, especially on a moonlight night. I'm always working with light. I know even with the um, stained glass, uh, it's obvious that I'm using light, that I'm trying to capture it in many different ways. But these are the same thing. It's presenting surfaces to the light. And so it is constantly changing as the sun moves across the sky. I wrote a vow on a small piece of paper and carried it in my wallet for many years. My vow was to pursue art since it was my only talent, the only thing I really liked to do. I saw no retirement age. I would draw pictures and make things, not spend my life waiting for retirement. This vow was a singular moment of personal illumination.